Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we've got the LDCX aircraft carrier. So yeah, LDCX has made a bunch of planes, a bunch of bus, a bunch of trains and now they're making boats. <laughs> So yeah, I've got the aircraft carrier, there's like a destroyer, a couple of other boats, but I really like uh, aircraft aircraft carrier, so I got this one. So we got like a, for uh, accessories, well, we just got a couple of uh, weapons and stuff, but we'll come back to this and we have the instructions. Instructions are uh, pretty good, nothing to it. Uh, it's just uh, from one side you have boat to robot. And on the other side, you have robot to boat. So, pretty cool. Like I said, it is very simple. LDCX is not known for uh, very intricate transformations. It's more like a uh, just nice detailed beagle. But we also have like this card, which is really interesting. Like, you know, upside down. But like, this is like, I don't know, I can't read really. But from what I gathered, it's like a thank you note and a officially certified cultural and creative product. So I'm guessing this is an existing aircraft carrier in China and they based their model onto it so that's pretty interesting. So yeah I don't know what everything is talked about here but it's pretty interesting to have this kind of card. We also have like this thing right here and it looks like a QR code I'm not too sure if you want to check it out check it out. So, yeah, let me know what it is. But, uh, yeah, just a really small, weird, interesting booklet. <laughs> and we have the aircraft carrier. And, oh, my God. The first thing you have to know when you pick this up, it's how heavy it is. It's incredibly heavy. It's, like, everything is in die cast in here. That's in die cast. This in die cast. Uh, the torso is in die cast, the shoulder is in die cast, it's so heavy, it's incredible. But yeah, the aircraft carrier looks really nice, we have uh, all the lines for uh, the plane. Uh, yeah, we have uh, small details, uh, uh, rotors right here, they don't spin, that's pretty cool. Otherwise we do have a little bit of kibble of robot, but uh, yeah, we do have the nice tower right here. Pretty damn cool. And, you know, it's just a boat. There's no wheels, there's no nothing. Obviously, it won't float because it's so darn heavy. <laughs> like I said, it's there's lots of die cast and it's pretty heavy. So, yeah, it's just a giant boat. Uh, quick comparison, we have right here the LDCX uh, School Boss or uh, Voyager, the blue, blue Voyager. Anyway, and we have the airplane right here. So they have and LDCX always makes pretty decent uh, uh, big figures. So, yeah. And just for a small comparison, here's Voice from Earthrise. So, <laughs> yeah, he is huge, <laughs> to say the least. So, yeah, very, very huge. But I really like it, the quality is insane. And uh, yeah, we can start with transformation. There's a little bit of part forming, not a lot, compared to most uh, LDCX, which has big parts and stuff. This is mostly, this is for the weapons. We pull this side right here, and you put it side, and you pull out the whole tower, control towers. So these are the only two parts you have to remove, and the rest, all up to you. Come right here, open up these panels right here. And you can flip this down, but don't close it right now. Come over here. You have, well, you can extend the arms. Like this. And you have uh, these panel right here that you need to uh, open these up. Oops. And that's my main gripe. These panels tend to fall out so often. There you go. So we put this out and you flip this open like this in the back. And then you can close them back, or just leave it like that for now. Uh, next up, you can close this. There's a peg right here, right here. Because if you don't close it, this corner sort of block those, so they won't uh, go there. All right, so we got this configuration now. Let's split the whole legs like this. So we have that. Take this panel right here, open it up. 
and bring this all the way down like this. Just rotate the leg, pull on the, this block, and now that you've pulled, you can tab the uh, bolt part here like this. And then you can extend the foot. And then you can close this. So there you go. Same thing pretty much for the other side. So pull on the leg, open this panel, flip all the way around, close. You have like this big tab here that goes inside here. So tab it in, this goes like this, flip out the toe, rotate the leg, and we're pretty much done. Let's move the camera because he is huge. <laughs> So we're almost done. So next up we have like the uh, whole battle station thing. We'll plug onto the back right here. Like so. You can sort of close this a little bit. And you need to remove these uh, propellers. So pull them out. These are just translucent like this. You can remove this. There you go. There you go. You can bring the arms down. There you go. And now for this, you have uh, this part right here that brings it all the way down and will snap in here. And then you can plug the propellers in here like this. Oop. Here's another one, and here's the last one. There you go, and we have his cannon. So you can bring the arm up and give him his cannon. And yeah, he looks pretty damn cool. I love the look of this one. Now, the instruction tells you to leave this open. I like to close it just a little bit, but yeah, doesn't bother me a lot. Nice legs. Nice. There's a lot of kibble in the back, but not that bad. I love the captain helmet, the captain cap. <laughs> it's just so good. <laughs> he is limited though in our articulation. We do feel like there's a rotation joint at the shoulder, but they don't. They, they don't rotate at all. Uh, there's like kibble in the back right here that really hinders. So you can't move the arms. That's really my big complaint about this guy. He does have an arm like this, rotation here, uh, elbow, and wrist. Doesn't have any waist, doesn't have anything for the head. Uh, the leg, you can separate them like this. They don't move forward, they only move outward. They can rotate, and the knee bends. So, yeah, that's for oops, the ankle. The ankle can tilt a little bit but not a lot, as it, it uh, depends on this part. So it can move, but this needs to be detached. Because as soon as it's attached, like this, as soon as it's attached, it won't move anymore. So yeah, be mindful of that. And yeah, this panel just keeps on popping out. I hate this, but yeah, it's not, no, not a big problem. But yeah, really cool looking figure, easy to transform heavy as heck <laughs> because of the die cast but uh yeah really cool just limited a little bit in the uh, uh, action poses but yeah still really cool but this is the only one i got uh, like i said there's like a destroyer one there's a couple of more boats and even a couple of space station i saw <laughs> but yeah this is the only one i got because i really like air carriers aircraft carriers so yeah, I do have a couple of uh, pre-ordered, uh, sort of pre-ordered, uh, the uh, next Jets line coming up. I'm just gonna do a small comparison with the other ones real quick. So uh, just before uh, comparison, uh, there's some quick panels right here underneath the arm that needs to be flipped in. Uh, they uh, fill in the abs, uh, but again, if, if you move this panel down, like the, the shoulder down, it bends the panel, so be real careful. So, yeah, so comparison, uh, we have the LDCX uh, Boeing transporter plane, uh, we have the uh, Voyager bus, so yeah, they are pretty good, and we have right here my uh, trusty hoist from Earthrise, <laughs> you can see, uh, yeah, they are huge figures, pretty big, but yeah, I really like the LDCX, 
line. Uh, simple, effective, and the uh, the modes are really nice. They just lack some weird uh, articulation with the legs mostly. Uh, the arm, this one for a sp uh, special, pretty much all the other ones has like rotating arms. But this one doesn't, so it's kind of odd. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I got this from SeerToys.com. Uh, check it out. I'm going to put the link in the des description below. Like I said, there's a bunch of other uh, boats, which I uh, am, I really recommend checking it out. Like I said, I only picked up the aircraft carrier because I really like this. But yeah, otherwise, it's really nice figure. Highly recommend for me. Go and check it out. Like I said, I got this on Seer Toys. Uh, and uh, yeah, you know the song, like, subscribe, leave a comment, blah, blah, blah. Right, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.